Hello everybody, I come to you in this 31 days challenge to continue to encourage each and every one of you as we are continuing. This journey has been moving forward and that's all we have to do. We wake up in the morning and we start and we look at our routine. That was the first thing that we learned. It was about that routine, developing a routine, because there's no way that we can rely on our brains. There's no way we can rely on how good we are. When we have a routine and a well-established routine, it helps us on accomplishing what is ahead of us each day. And then we went ahead and learned the importance of having dreams because this is a decade of doing great exploits. If you have a dream, you gotta write it down. And we did not just write down one or two, but we identified about seven areas, and for each area we wrote it down, and then we wrote an actionable step. And after that, we went ahead and prayed for that. That was very interesting. A lot of people participated on that. Thank you so much for buying those journals, colorful journals, all in all sizes and in all shapes. Thank you so much for um, participating in it and for putting your dreams down in writing. When we went ahead last week, we dealt on our fears. A lot of us don't accomplish things because we are so afraid. There's a certain thing that holds us back, maybe because of our environment, maybe because of the culture, maybe because of where we are coming from. Sometimes we have that inferiority complex. We look at ourselves and think we are not good enough, and maybe we look at ourselves and, and, and look at the resources that we have and we would say there's no way I can accomplish my dream because I do not have the resources. Yes, a lot of us wrote down fears, the fears that held us back, the fears that brought a glass ceiling, the fear that brought limitation, the fear that made us not to accomplish what God already given us. And we saw it. We saw the promised land, but we were so afraid. Because of that, we could not take steps. So we took those fears, we wrote them down, went back to our journals, we wrote them down, went to prayers and we prayed for them together oh it's, it it was so interesting it was so nice to see that we are praying for god to remove and to deal with our fears and some of these fears have been inside us and have been so rooted but we really thank god that um, we have seen the hand of god going in of us and pulling them out and bring healing. Some of us needed healing. It's because of the failures that we went through. Yes, there are people who are not going going forward because two or three years ago they failed. It didn't happen. They didn't accomplish. That restaurant closed down. That business didn't make it. That education and the college you are in, you did not make it. You could not make that grade. So there was that fear in you. But we thank God for the power of God that helps us to deal with those things which are impossible and to break and to deliver us. So we did that and now we are moving forward. This week, we want to deal with and we want to finish the challenge by doing this one exercise. It's very simple and I just want to call it dream it and post it. Yes, everybody has to dream it and post it. So after you have written your dream down in all areas that we identify, it's time to post it. Post what you have written about your family. Post what you have written about your spiritual life. Post what you have written about your purpose. What do you want to accomplish in your purpose, in your talents, in your skill that is related to your skill? What do you see? Your gift. What do you see in that? And you already written the actionable step. It's right there. And then post what you want to accomplish in your finances. Yes. 
we have to take steps in our finances. Some of us have to start giving more. Some of us, there are things which we have to do. Maybe it's saving, maybe it's investing. Maybe it's just having that plan on how are you gonna be giving to the work of God, to charity, and to even helping other people. How is your money going to serve God? So we're gonna write that down. Oh, how are you gonna help yourself grow that what God has already given us, the little you have, and now we're going to, oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do for your extra income? We are gonna write that down. And a lot of us have already identified the business, the project that we are going to do in this decade, starting 2020, we have written it down, and not only write it down, we have also put an actionable step. I have three for each one. Then we moved on into our health, growth, and for women, we wrote something as being helpers. Yes, we are helpers. We thank God for that role. So we wrote something down about being a helper. So after we did, after you do that, I want you to go to your journals, take those out, write them down in a piece of paper just the way I did, and cut them out and stick them if you can on a board, on a wall, wherever will be good and convenient for you. Go ahead and do that and then put everything together. In the middle, this is what I wrote, which has been encouraging me. And you can find anything that you can write, and which can be uh, something which will continue to encourage you as you look at it every day. So this is what I wrote. But the people that know their God shall be strong and do great exploits. So I am going to put this down where I can see it on a daily basis. This, what people sometimes call a vision board. So you dream it and then you post it. You wanna see it every day. We want to do something in this challenge. We don't just want to drink water or we just don't want to read, but we want to be moving forward towards doing that what God has given us. And one of the steps that will help us to be successful is to put it, to dream it. As Abakuk Tutu said, we should write it down so whoever reads it will run with it. You will be the first person to run with your own dream. You are not going to wait for anybody else. And the first thing which you'll be doing is make it visual. You are reading it. It's going to motivate you. You already have um, a scripture, a wisdom you are put there that you'll be reading it every day which is going to motivate you. Now before before I end this segment, I want to share with you something which has helped me on my life. I, I migrated, we migrated in the United States about 20 years ago. When we got here in the United States, I started doing my uh, certificate program in nursing. Yes, I did a certificate program in nursing. So each year I would write down what I would like to accomplish. So I remember the first year I wrote down, I just want to, to get a certificate. And I really thank God we I did get that certificate. I went to school and I got the certificate. Then I went ahead after I did that and I wrote down, I would like to accomplish getting a diploma in nursing. And I put that down and God helped me and I did get my diploma. A year, two years after that, I was motivated to continue. So the vision was to get an associate degree in nursing and I did that. Went ahead and I wrote that down. Now I can look at it and I can see exactly or where we I have come from. So I wrote down an associate in nursing and I did get an associate in nursing. And then after that, I got um, a bachelor degree in nursing. I wrote that down, I would like to get a bachelor degree in nursing. And it took some years. It wasn't a one day journal, a one day thing or two day. No, it took years, but 
with the grace of God, he helped me and I did get it. Then I went ahead and I wrote down something uh, about getting my master's and I got my master's. I really thank God for that. And I got, I relaxed. My husband started asking me, are you not going to get your PhD? I was like, uh, uh, uh. well, I remember to the words which my dad, Edward Manuel, used to say, Dorothy, you have to get your PhD. You have to be a doctor. He was one of those persons who loved education and encouraged us so much to go all the way. And I remembered that. So I one day woke up, Lucas looked at me in the eye one day and said, Lucas is my husband, and said, Dorothy, I am not going to ever tell you about getting your PhD. I said, okay. But one day I woke up and I said, I remember the words of my dad. I remember the word of Lucas. Now he's not even encouraging me. So I had to pull that out for myself. And I went ahead and I wrote it down. I said, by this year, I am going to get my PhD. So I went to compute, I started researching. I went to research to see which uh, university I would go. And thank God, I did find a university. And after that, I enrolled and the rest is history. Got my PhD and you all know now I am a doctor. So what am I saying? What I'm saying is this. I want to encourage somebody out there. It's very important not only to dream, but to write it down. But not only to write it down, to make it visible, post it, make it be seen by you because you are the first person who is going to run with that dream. Remember, 2020 is a year of doing great exploits. It's a, the whole decade is about doing great exploits. And this is a journey. The 31 days challenge is a journey that is equipping us to do great exploits. So I pray that you will be able to participate and be part of this blessing. So I just want to thank everybody who are doing this challenge. I want to continue to encourage you to continue with it until the end. It's about writing it down and posting it. So you're going to write it down and then you're going to post it. Make it visual so it will speak to you. This vision is going to speak to you. That's my message for this week. And I hope that we will continue with the challenge. Have a wonderful day.